Good afternoon, everyone. It's Jeff from New York, and today we're on the Atlantic City Boardwalk, and we're going to visit Caesars, the second hotel and casino to open Atlantic City. It opened in 1979. So on the left, we have Caesars, and on the right, we have Playground Pier, which is part of Caesars. It's connected by that sky bridge ahead, and it was a mall filled with luxury stores, and now it's pretty much empty. I like to walk, so I walk along the Atlantic City Boardwalk to get from one place to another. But if you're tired or hot or bothered and you just don't feel like walking, you can hop on one of these trams or one of these bicycle jitneys, and for a small fee, they'll take you up and down the boardwalk. I'm going to give you a tour of the entire Atlantic City Boardwalk on an upcoming video. Caesars purchased this property back in 1977, knowing that gambling was eventually going to come to Atlantic City. And back in 1977, when they purchased it, it was a Howard Johnson's. It was 11 years old, it was 11 stories, and had 425 rooms. Needless to say, that was a nice fixer-upper purchase, and they've done some improvements to the property since. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. With all the Greek statues around here, especially several of Caesar, there's no doubt what hotel and casino you're in. Lots of waterfalls and water features here at Caesars. This one's hiding the ugly business end of an escalator. It's very pretty and doing its job, I guess. So the gaming industry basically has two huge players. There's Caesars and there's MGM. Some of the Caesars properties you're all familiar with, but you might not even realize they're owned by Caesars, including Harrah's, Bally's, the Cromwell, the Flamingo, the Link, the Horseshoe, Paris, Planet Hollywood, and the Rio. They also have other locations outside of Atlantic City in Las Vegas. Oddly, as huge as its competitor is MGM, they only have one hotel and casino here in Atlantic City, and that's the Borgata. Make sure you check that video out here on that channel. Of course, there's plenty of shopping here at Caesars. They also have tons of restaurants to choose from. As far as casual restaurants, the one we're passing right here on the left is Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill. There's also Cafe Roma, Kwai Noodle House, Continental Tapas House, Philip Seafood Restaurant. There's a couple upscale restaurants too. We're going to pass Nero's in a little while, but there's Nero's Italian Steakhouse, which has a Sunday brunch buffet also. There's Morton Steakhouse, there's Budokan at the Playground, which is an Asian fusion restaurant. And of course, there's a buffet, which is called the Palace Court Buffet. And there's the man himself, Caesar, posing as if saying, Friends, Romans, countrymen, why is there always a fake sky painted on casino ceilings? And on the left here are a couple of places you can grab a quick bite or a cup of coffee. Up ahead, check out all those Roman goddesses in what looks like the Rome Colosseum. I never go out of my way to find a celebrity chef restaurant. I could take them or leave them, but I have to say Gordon Ramsay's is one of my favorites. I've never had a bad meal at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. This is Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill. He also has one in Caesars in Las Vegas, and uh, he also has Hell's Kitchen in Las Vegas on the Strip, which is one of the most popular restaurants in Las Vegas. Uh, the Pub and Grill here is known for is fish and chips, as well as its 26 beers on tap and 22 varieties of bottled beers. I did a Vegas video here on this channel on the best celebrity chef burger on the strip, kind of like a throwdown. It included Gordon Ramsay and Guy Fieri and Bobby Flay and a couple of others. Who won? Well, you'll just have to check that video out. We just passed the front desk. And by the way, if you're checking in at the front desk, turn around and just point to these windows over here and say, I don't want one of those rooms. These rooms offer no outside window, so your only view is the escalator and front desk. And a couple of concrete goddesses. If you don't like natural sunlight, well, maybe these rooms are for you. Hmm, what are you, a vampire? We're heading downstairs. Hold on tight. So everyone, this is Caesar's 40th anniversary year here at Atlantic City. This showcase features a whole bunch of stuff from their first year in 1979. 
Uh, it includes a shovel that broke the ground, a construction hat, a uh, marquee poster of Donna Summer, who I believe opened the joint. Uh, there's some original casino chips, some plateware from the restaurants gone by, as well as stemware from bars. There's uh, original Caesars postcards and a room rate card as well. On the left here is Kui, a noodle house. It's kind of casual. Uh, I know I'm going to be corrected. Some people are going to say it's not Kui, it's KWI. Call it what you will. If you like Asian noodles, you'll like this place. That's where the big boys and girls gamble. And this is Nero's Italian Steakhouse, which I spoke about earlier. It's an upscale restaurant with commanding views of the ocean. New Jersey Magazine said it's the best place for a steak in New Jersey. There's also a private room called Betty's Back Room at Nero's for uh, private parties. Just ask for Betty if you're calling. And Nero's also has an award-winning Sunday brunch. By the way, Nero's is one of those restaurants that has a whole bunch of dollar signs after its name. So I'm just saying, if you're not comped, don't forget that credit card. There is an elevator to Nero's, but if your gross income drops below a certain level, they make you take the stairs. Woe is me. I'm going to head back to the casino now to see if I can get comped for Nero's and possibly take that elevator to get there. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.